Hey guys, Joshua Peterson, Peterson Electric, third part of this video. Um, so this is what it turned out. We got the panel mounted. I did, I think about six screws to make sure this would hold well. When you're screwing a panel in, or when this guy, whoever did the AC, screwed in this strap, don't use screws that long unless needed. This is just siding and there's not two layers. Um, that's a good way to cause a short on a circuit that you can't get to. Um, I just used deck screws about an inch long, inch and a quarter max, maybe three quarter, aggressive thread, and then a, a washer. Um, so basically, I got my grounding in first, okay, which is coming up through here. I, use, I do a plastic bushing there. And then after I got the grounding in, I did my bonding jumpers. And then I got in my feeders next. And I did take a picture so the inspector will know the back side of this has a bushing. And um, I got this choked here. And then I finally got this in with a piece of flex. And I just did a uh, rigid 3 quarter inch coupling to adapt from a 3 quarter inch compression uh, EMT um, fitting connector. And then this is just a 3 quarter inch flex connector. So we got all that put in. And then um, I'm going to call them now to come out. They've got to splice this. These are too short. So they'll be out here pretty quick. I don't suggest to ever do this hot. Um, I've had to do it once, but it's not something I like to do. I like to always get my disconnect, reconnect on the underground feet. Their pedestal was actually in the other backyard, so it wasn't even in this yard. Um, so the next video will be just to show you how to implement the grounding neutrals on the hots. Um, the ungrounded conductors again so this video is here just to show uh, other electricians my method of doing it but if you're not licensed and you don't know what you're doing and you're a homeowner um, this video is not for you to put it together and try it and then it doesn't work we're not liable for any reason if you don't know what you're doing if you don't know what you're doing don't do it call a professional um, professionals will have licenses and insurance such as myself and I've been in this field about 19 years now, so please call someone. Don't be stupid and do it yourself. All right, thanks. Bye.